So pulling together all the work that we have done on this topic of health and medicine, the last thing we need to look at are scatter plots of life expectancy. Now this question here is taken straight from your textbook and I just wanted to run through it quickly to make sure everyone understands. Here is a scatter plot that shows the number of infant deaths per 1,000 1, live births in Australia from 2004 to 2010. And it has been drawn with a table and we've drawn a scatter plot of this. So we can have a look at that. And you can see that just looking at the data, it looks like there is an anomaly here in 2005, but generally the death rate is slowly decreasing. So the question, the first question says, what percentage of babies died at birth in Australia in 2005? When 2005, we can read it off the graph and we can see that 5% of the children died. Now part B says use a spreadsheet to construct a least squares line of best fit for this data and find its equation in the form of y equals mx plus b. Now the thing is, part of the course description is that we have to be able to do this information on an X or in an Excel spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do is bring up an Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to run through with you what you would have to do in order to produce this and then I'd like all of you to have a go at doing that in your own Excel files. So what I have here is I've just opened a blank Excel document and I'm just going to place in this document the same table which is in the example. So I'm just going to start in here and I'm going to do a heading for year and underneath it I'm going to do deaths uh, per 1000 and what I might do is I'm just going to make that column a bit bigger and then I can put my numbers in. We've got 2004 and then I've got 2005, 2006 and so on and so on. So once I have all of my data in and now I've put it all in, I'm going to highlight the cells that I want to do and we need to insert and we need to make a chart. So we're doing a scatter plot. So here is a scatter plot and we just want some dots. And here it is. It comes up looking exactly like this. I can press plus and I need to give my axis a title. So in here, what I want it to be is I want it to be deaths per 1000. And it seems to me I didn't do that particularly well. And then on this title, I also need to call that year. So what I have now looking here is, yep, I've got my scatter plot. I've got my percentages here. And the next thing I probably want to do is go down here to where it says trend line. If I tick on trend line, you can see it's putting in my trend line. And see this little arrow here? This little arrow, and I'm going to go to more options. And down here, it says to display equation on chart. We'll click that, and we're going to display our R squared value. So if I just move these around, here I have the equation of my line. So remember all that work we did on our calculator? So much faster and quicker to do it in an Excel spreadsheet. And remembering that R is our correlation coefficient, an Excel spreadsheet only gives you R squared. But if you want to just R, all you have to do is take the square root of this. So now you can see that I have a beautiful Excel spreadsheet done in no time at all without having to go through all the laborious act of using your calculator, looking up the formula sheet and working it out like that. So let's go back to answering the questions then. So it says here use a spreadsheet to find the equation in the form of y equals mx plus b. Well from your Excel spreadsheet you saw how easy it was. So it has the equation y equals minus 0 0.1 three five seven x and that would be appropriate because we have a negative uh, line and plus 276.82 being my y intercept and part c then says explain the meaning of the gradient of the line well the gradient of the line in this case is the rate at which the deaths 
deaths are decreasing each year or the rate at which the mortality rate is decreasing each year. And I'll leave you to write that down. Part D says calculate correct two decimal places, the correlation coefficient for the data and describe the correlation. Well, if I was going to do this, we had our R square valued from our Excel spreadsheet, which is 0 0.6811. If I just want my correlation coefficient, I'm just going to take the square root of that because remember undoing a squared is to take a square root. And if we do this, you get 0 0.825287 and so on, which is approximately equal to 0 0.83. So what is my correlation coefficient? Well, I would say it's strong linear correlation and I would actually say that that was probably in moving in a negative direction as well because it's a negative correlation. Part E says, do you think the mortality rate will continue to decline and justify your answer? Well, I would say that yes, the mortality rate will continue to decline and the reason probably would be because of advances in medical technology or advances in health, health care, prenatal care for parents and so on. So as long as you can relate this question back to the real world, there's not going to be any problem with it. Okay, so that's all there is. Let's hope that you have no problems with this work.